Hello and welcome to another video. In this one we're going to explain why the documentation recommends that you run python-mpip instead of pip when you're installing or utilizing pip. Uh, this was sent in by Andrew Lane X on Discord. Thank you for the question. And without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, so the primary reason for invoking pip in this way is it makes it more clear which Python you're installing a package to. Uh, if you were to just run pip, it can be kind of, you know, kind of confusing, especially for beginners, uh, which, which installation. <laughs> and if you've seen, you know, the XKCD comic where there's like 50 Python installations on a Mac, like it's, it's really easy to get confused there. Um, and so the recommendations, so if you're installing for Python 3, you would want to do Python 3-m pip install, uh, I don't know, what's some package, I don't know, HTPX. Um, and then, you know, you would be able to use Python 3 and import HTPX because that was the, that was the Python that you installed it to. Whereas if you did Python 2 and you tried to import, oops, HTPX, you'd see, you know, that's not a package. Uh, and similarly, if we did Python 2 dash M pip install, <laughs> AST pretty, sure. Uh, you'll see that this will only install AST pretty to this particular Python. So the, the first and the most important reason is it ensures that you're installing it to the Python that you know you're installing it to and not to just some mysterious Python that's attached to the particular pip executable. Now, I, <laughs> I know what I'm doing, so I don't use this all the time. Um, I, I mostly depend on pip having the right uh, shebang. So if we do head dash one, which pip, you'll see that this points in particular to this Python 3 virtual environment here. So I happen to know that I have this activated. And so when I use pip, it will install to this Python 3 installation. Um, but if you're, if you're ever uncertain, and especially when you're starting out, I would suggest doing this. The second reason, and this one is a lot more subtle and really only affects Windows, and so let me, oops, let me open up a command prompt here. Um, on Windows, in a very, very specific case, um, let's see, yeah, cool, I have a virtual app here. In a very, very specific case, uh, installing pip with pip <laughs> will cause a crash. So if you didn't use python -m pip, if you just did pip install pip dash dash upgrade, uh, you get this mysterious crash at the end of installing pip. Uh, it takes a while, apparently. Come on, you can get there. Here we go. You get this uh, mysterious environment error, access is denied to pip.exe. And the reason for this is uh, on Windows, when a file is opened, no other process can delete or change that file. It's essentially like exclusive file rights. And so pip is trying to remove pip.exe as pip.exe is running. And so it can't do that and errors out in this way. However, if you were to do Python dash m pip install pip dash dash upgrade. Uh, well, of course it it succeeded despite not being able to uh, do this. But let's say we wanted to downgrade it instead. Um, oh, right, there's no dash k on Windows. I don't know nine point zero point three. <laughs> uh, this should succeed and won't have the error. Yeah, because it it can replace pip.exe because it's not actually using it at that point. Uh, but anyway, that's the reason that you should use Python dash m when you're invoking pip. Hopefully this was useful. If you guys have additional stuff you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.